my top five must-haves for summer and I thought that this would be a really fun video to do before we all get out for summer break. I know I get out in like about two weeks and I'm so excited for summer. It is my favorite season. I could honestly do a video probably for about two hours where I talk about all of my favorite products but I really don't think you all want to sit through that so I narrowed it down to five products. I have like beauty products, fashion, lifestyle. I've narrowed it down and I'm really excited to show you all some of my essentials for summer so let's go ahead and get in with the video. My first summer must-have is Maybelline Baby Lips and also just tinted lip balm in general. Um, I think it's a great product to have on hand during the summer. I love it because it's very moisturizing and will keep your lips hydrated. Some of them even have SPF, which is great for summer, especially out being in the sun. I love the wash of color they give. They're so bright and fun, just like summer. They're awesome lip balms and if you don't like baby lips, you can always get a different kind that you do like. And they're just super portable and easy to throw in your purse on the go, so I love them. And another bonus is that they even float, so if you drop it in the ocean or the pool, never fear because it'll float. So yeah, that is my first essential. My next must have is sea salt spray or surf spray. My favorite is the one from Bumble and Bumble. Um, so all I do is I just take it and I spray it all throughout my hair and kind of scrunch up my hair. And it just gives that perfect beachy wave kind of vibe with the boho kind of carefree look. So I love that. And another alternative is the not your mother's one, but um, my personal favorite is the Bumble and Bumble. So yeah. Number three is Birkenstock sandals. I don't know if these are popular where you all are, but I love wearing mine. Um, they're so easy to put on to just go out the door, um, and they're super cute, and they just go with every outfit because they're just a tan color, but you can get them in a lot of different colors, and they're super easy to wear and slip on, and I just think they're perfect for summer. My next essential is just a light body splash. So I love this because they're pretty inexpensive and um, they smell super yummy too. So it's not a big deal if it comes off in the water because it's not like you just wasted like three sprays of your favorite, you know, expensive perfume. So I love body splashes. And number five is to keep a planner. So um, I know during the summer, if I don't keep a planner, my weeks can end up looking something like this. So what I like to do is just put some fun washi tape and stickers in my planner and then plan out anything like taking the ACT or going on vacation or anything like that. So um, it just keeps me super organized and on track and on task for having a productive summer. So then an example of how you could uh, lay out your week is of course putting some washi tape on. You don't have to do this but I just think it's a fun touch that makes me want to use my planner a bit more. Um, and then I also added a sticker. You can get like really inexpensive stickers on Amazon or at your local craft store. And then I just started listing out to do's for each week. Oh and I also added those sunshine stickers. So you know things like go to the gym, work on summer homework, summer reading, film a video, clean out your closet, you know stuff like that. So just fun things to help me keep organized for the week and stay so those are my top five products for summer i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and also leave me a comment down below letting me know what some of your top summer products are because i would love to know I hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you next wednesday bye everyone would they just see the skies and you see my scars what do they see if i was a question would you be my answer if i was the music would you be the dancer if i was the student would you be the teacher if i